Hi, my name's George. Welcome to Merrick Avenue Walking Tour Part 2. We're starting in the corner of Hooray, Shio Avenue, and Merrick Avenue. And back in the 70s, I'm talking about, 60s and 70s, there was a garden store who also had really good Italian food and salads and stuff called George's. I was over there and this little there's a Elliott place and not to be mixed up with Elliott Street there was a little strip mall that was here for a long time and they there was a Stan's candy store and there was a little coffee shop over here and amazingly Ace Liquors is still here this building over here, Cavett Chiropractors, was at one point, I believe, the offices of the local newspaper called Merrick Life. I don't know if they're still in business, but they really did a good job keeping people of Merrick informed about the community. And this here, don't know if it was there. It might have been looked different. The 7-Eleven was not here. I know that. Some of these streets off Merrick Avenue have a lot of really nice um, colonial looking homes. This part of Merrick. Well, most of Merrick had nice houses. But it was in particular over here. And... Okay, this 7-Eleven was not here. Merrick was one of the last towns, I think, in Nassau County to get a 7-Eleven. Now I think we have two of them. And many people from North Merrick are familiar with and it's, uh, the Dime Savings Bank, which is still there. They used to stamp your bank book. You put your money in there, and so that was a popular bank with the residents of the area. And I think this gas station, I don't think it was the same name, BP, but there has been a gas station for here for a really long time. And um, now we're coming up with another strip mall over here and there was a Baskin and Robbins and now unfortunately it's Dunkin Donuts I'm not a fan I think it's very unhealthy for people they shouldn't eat it and okay this is a strip mall and there was an A&P over here believe it or not, which was a supermarket that took up most of this little strip mall. There was a popular pizzeria called Sam and Tony's, which, well, I grew up closer to South Merrick, so the pizza was definitely better down there than I thought was. People around here thought it was good pizza, but it was probably not that great, but um, you know, that's my opinion. <laughs> and, yep, these buildings were probably here. And they were probably all still back then doctors and lawyers and stuff. And um, I think there was a, a bar over here. For a while, there was a fruit store and a video store in this strip mall, I remember. That might have been in the 80s, maybe even the 90s. And um, <clears throat> there was a popular little candy store called Schrager's, I think it was called. And he always had a really good selection of comic books and candy and stuff like that. And there was a supermarket called Whitney's over here. That was pretty popular, burned down. Um, 
there was a re there was a hardware store here for a really long time. Classic old hardware store, you know. Smelled like a smelled really manly in there, you know. And I don't think that's here anymore. The barber shop. And um, across the street, I don't really think these stores are pretty new. There's a Starbucks. There was a really good Italian deli over here. They really took it seriously. They got a lot of imported stuff and they had really good bread. People were nice. And, um, you know, Taquito's Grill, probably pretty good. I never ate there. Those doctors and dentists' offices over here. And, um, this looks like a little dry cleaning, a alteration, seamstress kind of place. And... Um, another Merrick classic, Cow's Corner, is gone. Another chiropractor here. And, of course, another Merrick old-time classic school, Camp Avenue School, is over here. A lot of really good pickup football games and stuff. Had a pretty good playground for little kids. Over here, a couple little businesses. Um, there's a Mozigliano's. Uh, I think they were like sold plants and did landscaping, stuff like that. Maybe they were really involved with a lot of stuff. Good family. And um, now we're on Camp Avenue. And there was a, there's a barber shop over there that's been there for a long time. There used to be a little candy store over there, too. And um, this was a popular area of Merrick. And here's a good view of the side of Camp Avenue School. And um, so, okay, that's all.